What's up, boys? What up? Look at this. Oh, oh, yeah. We got the mustaches rolling and hot today. I'm here with my buddy Anthony, and today we're gonna be doing some mustaching and some bass fishing. Today's gonna either go really, really good or it's gonna go really, really bad. We are going fishing today, but we are exclusively fishing giant swim baits. As you guys can see here, for some reason, Anthony just has this weird obsession with swim baits. So out here on the table, we got everything from HUDs to live targets to Buka Bull Shads to is this Mega Bass. That is Daps, and these are also is, these are our HUDs as well. And then we got giant working class zero. working class zeros right here. There's another one. We got the mini ones. I got this giant shad rigged up right here. I mean, these things are massive. These are what, nine inches? Yeah, nine Those inches. Those are nine inch. We got these massive- Depths bluegills. Bluegills right here. I mean, these things are just huge. And these are expensive too, right? Like what's, uh, yeah, like, what's one of these costs? That's about like 160. You can find them on 160? eBay. 160? Shoo! I don't even know if I can handle throwing any of these today, boys. I'm scared. We're taking the John boat out and we're only bringing the giant swim baits. I made swim bait videos in the past. I wasn't really too successful, but the lake slash pond that we're going to today really does hold some big caliber largemouth bass. With it being pre-spawn, bass are gonna be cream and shad right now, so this could go really well. I'm excited. We are using big gear today. I'm pretty much using one of my musky rods, and uh, you know, Anthony's got his little swim bait ordeal, but um, he's gonna have a GoPro on today. I'm gonna have a GoPro on today. Hopefully, we get into some giant bass. Stay tuned. If you guys are new here, do me a favor, smash the subscribe button, cause this is gonna be crazy. All right, so we made it. We out here. It's a beautiful bluebird day. It's about 63 degrees. And, uh, you know, we're here at the thing that I call Pondish Lake. You you guys have seen me here before. A couple of videos ago, I was here fishing with the chatterbait and I caught like back to back three and four pounders. That was dope. I think we're gonna start with the six inch shad just to see if we can get into a bite. And then once I get a couple fish out of the way, just kind of off my chest, I'm gonna just commit to throwing a big, huge swim bait. We have just a mass variety to throw here today. And uh, this is something I'm completely new to. I am not very experienced with swim bait fishing. This is not something I typically do. As you guys know, I usually teach you techniques on how to catch bass. And this is something that's completely out of my comfort zone that, you know, Anthony's just convincing me to try to do today. Anthony's currently on a work call over there and he's gonna be stuck in there for whatever, but mustache crew up in here. We gonna get the John boat loaded up and we'll see you guys on the water. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick lowdown real quick. I'm gonna start off by using this little six inch working class zero, and I think we'll be able to get a guaranteed bite on this. So that's a pretty big swim bait just to begin with, but it's nothing like outrageous. And then maybe after I catch something or maybe when I'm feeling a little frisky, I'm gonna pick up this massive nine and a half inch. And uh, I mean, as you guys can tell, I actually just makeshift rig that up with a treble hook from one of my musky lures because the hooks that are actually made for these baits haven't come in the mail yet due to everything that's going on so this is going to be the game changer if we actually get a bite on this i can show you guys real quickly it actually has one of the juiciest i mean these things look juicy it has a nice slow fall and it's just a good paddle it's almost like a like a subsurface bait it's got the weight in the head, but uh, I think that might just get creamed by like a six pounder. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a go today and see what happens. It's a friggin' beautiful day. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Big old swim baits for days. Yeah, big old swim baits for days. Yeah, we didn't shave our our faces to not not catch seven pounders. Oh, put it back in there. Put it back. He was literally. It was I saw him. In, I saw him engulf it, but like you just jacked it out of his mouth. He wasn't that big though. That was nuts. I wish I wish you guys could see what we just saw, cause like the polarized glasses make all the difference. Freaking jacked it to the moon. 
That was cool though. That was cool to watch that firsthand. That was dope. Dude, he sucked it in though in front of the boat. That's what I'm saying. Like, just. <laughs> Honestly, you could have probably threw it back in the water. No, I think your hook set was fine. I think you just needed to pull your rod tip in a different direction. Because uh, he came straight in at you. You want to bring it like you should have brought it my way. It's all right, though. Hey. He ate it. Dude, I hey, that's a, that's a, it's, it's a bite. It's progress. That was cool. That was really cool. Yeah, you, you don't see that often. It followed it up like a muskie. Like right in front of the boat. Here, Sally Mae, come on. <clears throat> you know I'm trying, bud, but the wind said, nah. I'm telling you guys, you guys can't cast this good unless you have a stash. Like you, the only way. it's the only, po I mean, watch like this. Can you pin this close to shore accurately? Didn't think so. Oh, Didn't think so. No, I did that on purpose, look at it. <laughs> See what happens when y'all get cocky? I'm trying to teach you a lesson. You know, mustache is now the only reason I'm allowed to be cocky right now is because we have mustache. But but I was trying to catch the tree, like it was accuracy, right? So I was like, look, <laughs> double up. We got doubles. Oh, we got them. All right, back, back to the basics. Ah, y'all want a little update here? Here's the, here's the deal. We've been out here about an hour. Anthony got one to swallow his bait, but he set the hook to the moon, tried to fling the fish to like Jupiter, but unfortunately fish let go. He didn't feel like going to outer space today. From there, uh, it's been about just dust, like, you know? It's all good, like we knew we were gonna catch 10 pounders today because like, obviously, and uh, just the mustache hasn't picked the right time yet. There's like a specific time where the sun spheres around the moon and the mustache just really, yeah, <laughs> orbits. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just trying to make random words up. Anyways, it's not mustache hour yet. Not yet. Mustache hour is, what time is it? It's usually like happy hour. What time is it? So like four to nine. <laughs> four to nine. <laughs> four to nine. You can't just catch big fish and look this good. It's just not. It's not an option. We're gonna go back up to the top of this, uh, you know, windblown point. And I'm gonna throw on Big Bertha because you know what? That's what I was doing wrong. I was fishing too small of a bait. So I'm gonna throw on this big old jerk shad and it's probably gonna catch a bunch of weeds, but I'm gonna give it a go. Full on rocket, baby. Let's get it. All right, guys, Big Berthoonie is coming out. Oh my butt, butts and turkey biscuits. Oh my launch. <coughs> oh yeah, that's what daddy likes. Big old juicy shads in the water. Better pick up the phone before the girlfriend tells you you can't have, oh, oh. Was that a stick or was that a fish? Freaking launch city, baby. Oh, I thought I got cranked, but it was not. It's probably just weeds. Oh, what was that? What was that? Whoa, oh, oh, I got hit again. You got to be kidding me. I was kind of joking, but I just got freaking T-boned. What the flip? Go with the one that doesn't float. All right. I don't know what I'm doing here, guys, so. Bull shooter 160. I mean, that does look realistic as all heck, though. I will give him that. The craftsmanship on the paint job is titties. Ow! Yeah, be careful. I literally pulled the weed off. It was so sharp and went through my finger and out. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Shoo, boys. Dang. I tell you what, they got sharp hooks. It literally went in my finger and ripped out like a freaking... I was going to say butter knife, and that made no sense, but... It's 
It's a lot easier to direct it like that. How was fishing today? Well, my mustache still looks good. You know what I think it was? Trash. All right, we got our friggin' butts kicked, boys. The mustache men uh, took a fat L. I, that's like kind of why I don't fish swim baits. He has better luck from time to time. He had a couple of hits. I literally was just like, it was just dusty for me. So it is what it is. I'm posting the video because one, we had fun today. Two, I like to be realistic. Sometimes you guys go out there and you don't catch anything. Leave a comment down below if you guys are swim bait freaks and you grind hard for fish with swim baits, kind of how he is. He just likes to, he'll fish all day for one fish. Me, I'd rather just flip a jig and just put a hurt on a bunch of bass, but you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna sign you guys out here. Thank you so much for watching. Do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, drop a like on this video, and uh, we'll see you guys later.